Oh, well, at least these guys are getting on. Look at that. So cute. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. I'm just now going over the comments of the last video. So, I have fixed the refund problem. Now, what? I, I've been in touch with Bo. She works for Frontier. She, last time I checked, was head of uh, communications of like, uh, you know, that social media and that sort of thing. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> God, I'm just going to want to say, he has no idea. I've known him for this long. He has no idea what I do. <laughs> um, and I asked about the refund thing. Apparently, it was an issue. I, th I think it was an unintended issue, actually. I think. Um... The, the reason it was happening, or at least they put in that refunds were supposed to be uh, this big thing. Uh, but I think they've reduced the uh, the amount of them because I was apparently I wasn't the only one having issues with the refunds. So that's a thing. Um, but uh, you guys also, I said, Mudkip MC says the reason all the, ref the refunds uh, was customers running away from the animals getting out. So the customers left, which is uh, something to even think about. I have managed to get it under control anyway. If we have a look, and we have a look at uh, education, you can see we have a lot more speakers. Um, so everybody should be happy. We've also got um, the, there's some like food stuffs here, even though apparently the vendors aren't there. What I need to do is have like a, an area here where we've got lots of staff room um, areas for them to rest. Because apparently the only one we've got is over here. And I don't think there's that many. I think there might be one over here too. Yeah, there is. There's one over here as well. So in the grand scheme of things, if you work all the way over here, which they do, uh, they're not there anymore. Probably because they're resting. Uh, we've had some new developments. We'll click play um, over here. So you might see there's, there's three hippos, but, but, who's there? This is Chica's own baby. Chiku has had a baby and it is Nuru. Chiku and Nuru. So um, these guys were struggling for space. If you look at social, 77% for space. So I had to delete the main trees here. Oh, look at it. Is it a boy or a girl? No, it's another girl. Look at that trot. <laughs> She's so cute. I can't help it. Oh, and I just want to say, I know it's an, it's an on running thing. Um, like, thank you. So oh, she's coming over here to eat, is she? Oh, wait, they dumped the food there? Oh, is it too much? There's not another pile. Oh, okay, wait. That, uh, that's okay. I don't mind a pile like that. Uh, I just want to say, and uh, like, just so much of a thank you for all the support that this series gets. I, I, I mean, Obviously, the Planet Zoo community and uh, Zoo Tycoon, not Zoo Tycoon, Planet Coaster community are quite closely linked. Um, and I was talking to um, some people who work on uh, Planet Zoo, and, or sorry, who make content on Planet Zoo. Um, and just saying how amazing the uh, fan base is. And even just like, re uh, how did you get so dirty? All you did, oh, there we go. There you go. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the, is it this tree? Because I kind of don't like the, the yeah, we'll move that over there. That's probably going to free up some more space as well. And we get a lovely look at you. Yes. What about space? Nope. We're fine. Okay. These guys, I think, are okay for social. We've got Badru. We've got Jiku. And Mawaya. And she's the mother, I think. Yeah, she's 26 years old. And for social, they're going to be fine. I think for when... Oh, God, no. Who's pooping? Well, we'll, we'll get away from that. <laughs> for the amount of support that this series gets. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. It it, it, it really is... I don't know. It, it's something that I'm like... I'm always excited to see... Um, what this next uh, episode's going to bring. As in, like, comments and... Oh, yes. We have some statues... Oh, that's a bit big. That's like a regular hippo, isn't it? I mm, don't want that. That's a little pygmy hippo. Um, that's 40. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Can we have this? Where can we put this? Where can we put the hippos? Tell you what. What I'm going to do. I saw somebody do this. <laughs> the thing is, I must be the only uh, person who covers um, Planet Zoo and has a problem with the refunds. Because everyone I've seen, I look at their money when they're in franchise mode. And they've got like a gazillion Whereas when it's me, if I have no money, I can't do anything. <laughs> so they've got like a million zoos. <laughs> and I'm just here with one like, yeah, this is all right. So we're going to put this here. This is going to look beautiful. Just you watch. I think. I think. Oh, no. Need to turn off the angle snap. 
See, we're on 6,000. And actually, hold on before we do anything. Because <gasps> this might not last for much longer. Come on. Eat it quick. Speed. Speed. Where is she? Is she in a box? She is in a box. I was going to say. Oh, oh no. Is she? Are they big? Did she get big? Damn it. <laughs> Did he get big? Oh, no. We had some babies. I was like, oh no, am I gonna have time? Am I gonna have time to record the next episode? Now, the, the reason why we're having some issues actually here is that they walked along here and then just phased through the wall. Like, just, just walked through there. So there's a few things that I wanted to change. Um, uh, so we're gonna have to give me a second and I'll do that. I was reading another comment from Hunter. Beaver's money, decreasing, beaver. Let's buy tons of things and not pay any attention to it. <laughs> it wasn't deliberate. Also, yeah. Yeah, th this is a bit weird. Um, yeah, gonna have to move you uh, down from there. You're not supposed to really be this high. Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> coming straight back up for this. I'm gonna have to make this a little bit high. Yeah, the problem was I had tiny warthog puppers um, up here. And I was like, oh no. They, they were climbing like all the way over here. I thought, woo, they could easily jump out. I'm surprised the alarm hasn't summoned. So we're coming ah, to a night. So yeah, these guys, yeah, they can't they can't just jump down now. That's fantastic. Are they okay though? Enrichment, they need some Oh, that's right, because we didn't even make a mud bath. <laughs> species toy, uh interspecies bonus. Ooh, we could go to Zoopedia because you guys tell me to do that. So what do they get a bonus from? World records? Oh, whoa! Largest ever was Aduk from Pure Pleasure Zoo at a whopping 0.8 meters tall. So they get on with Black Wildebeest, Common Ostrich, Thompson Gazelle, Springbok, Recolator Giraffe. Uh, is there anything here? Black Wildebeest. Hmm. Is there anything that could kind of fit in here? We could get some gazelles, like a Springbok, I suppose. A Thompson Gazelle, uh, maybe. We could get some sort of bonus from that. You mean nobody bought these guys? Oh no, we're gonna have to put them back on sale. A 2,500 steal. <laughs> please, somebody please help me, I need the points. Oh my God, they got an albino boy. Oh, we need to have, this is just albino park. Hold on, we need to get him. Yeah! There you have it, some trees, although, we now need to go into habitat, um, because they need some enrichment. Have we not- I mean, they've got a small barrel feeder. They've got a rubbing pillar. Is that- does that count as toy? I'm assuming that counts as toy. <laughs> so we'll put that there. Oh, there you go! Now they need some food enrichment, so something like... Oh, can I not place that there? Because they're there, or...? Oh, hold on. There you go! Beautiful! 100% of everything! <laughs> and we should be getting some springbok um, as well here. Uh, something I didn't even realize that you could do is go into habitats. And there it will show you all the places where the animals can go to. Which is interesting. Because <laughs> there's actually quite a bit. Like, that's good. There. The, the, oh, you're underneath the waterfall. No way. No way. Hold on. Oh, and it's snowing. And it's snowing. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, no, 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 no! It's gonna be cold there! No, grab one of the hitters! Hup. God, it's bring it over! Can't have a cold waterfall! That's like the worst, you get numb fingies! Oh my god, a warm waterfall sa sauna kind of thing? We'll put it up high. Because everyone knows heat, heat rises, so I guess we'll point it down. Oh no, that's actually a good point, actually, because it's there. Won't the water push the air down? So you'll end up, yeah, yeah. There you go, Lulu. So she's had her first offspring. There you go, had offspring there. And because the, one of them was albino, I'm assuming there's a high chance of the other one's albino. So we're going to make an albino farm. And we should see, uh, there they are, our latest additions, the, uh, the springbok. I'm kind of hoping that they can clean this area out. I haven't seen anybody go that way and this should be our albino springbok oh my god yes adisa social group too few adults oh do they need one more i'm assuming possibly two females to one male however they're kind of okay but i will do that i'll get i'll quickly just get another one. Oh, look at you you look so beautiful in the snow 
<laughs> Straight in. Going to a hide. Not stressed or anything. Interspecies bonus, 20%. So you could get even more. But uh, I'm happy with those guys. I mean, it's not an incredibly big exhibit when you think about it. So let me just go quickly grab some more Springbok. 100% fertility gene. Oh, do we want to commit to that? I think I had that with the ostriches and that was a big mistake. <laughs> I wasn't too happy. Oh, but 100% size, Jean. She'll have the biggest babies. The albino den. That's what we'll call it. Okay, so apparently creatures aren't having a great time dealing with the cold. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make a lot more heaters. Wait, heaters don't cost me anything? You can have the warmest mud bath of your life. There you can. Have that. Do people need to be warmed up? Is that a thing? Do people need to be warmed up? They look cold. What are you doing, little Nuru? What are you doing? He's just looking cute. What the frick? How do we get so many ostriches again? All right, all right, all right. Okay, well, we need to change. I didn't even put a stand for this area. Put a cheeky little heater in there. Cheeky little heater in there. A cheeky little heater in there. A cheeky little heater in the grass. Okay, you. Oh, I'm gonna click play. Just you watch. Just you watch this place heat up. Slowly but surely, it's doing it. Slowly, then surely. But there is becoming more and more heat. And we'll hide. I was gonna say that's in the water, isn't it? But yeah, there's a lot more places for heat to be. Uh, anywhere else, any of the other exhibits? Komodos are fine, Aardvox fine. Crocodiles are, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll put one there. These guys, I think are okay. Um, but what I will do, Turn that upside down, put that against the ceiling, and voila, get rid of the bottom one. This place is a dump. What do you mean this place is a dump? Heading, wait, where, 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 where? The, oh, oh, okay, never mind. We have a tipped over bin. That's uh, like, how am I supposed to see that? Oh my God, there is so many people here. Why is there so many people? I mean, I can see why it's, it's an amazing exhibit, but a um, little bit of overcrowding me thinks. We need another ATM. We need another ATM. There it is. Are there vendors here? Oh, there they are. They're back. Oh, look at that. It's all rocky behind them. It's, oh God, the grill's kind of obscured. Oh, another thing I want to do. I just need to quickly grab uh, some of this waterfall stuff. And now this place isn't really gonna be open for a while, but I thought this was a really cool idea. Oh my God. Okay, let's, let's give that a shot. Click play. Oh, yes. Oh, we got a nerd achievement. I don't know what that what that's all about. Yes, gotcha. Okay, okay, let's uh get this off. Right, alright. Let's just move that a little bit that way. Whoa! Multiple animals are stressed. Animal is hung. Whoa, jibba jibba! Oh god, more offspring Jew. Oh Jesus. Um just release the wild, just give me anything. Fertility 0%, longevity 0%, but they're immune! Yeah, they will release you to the wild. Immunity 0%, yes, will re release you instantly, get a cold and die. You know what it is? It would really help if you um if you had a food bowl. That that would really help. <laughs> I'm just really happy that uh they're using this little path that I made for them. That's so cool. Oh, Died of starvation? Okay, um, we got a lot of animals starving. Why is there no zookeeper on this? Isaac and Chelsea, you've done a terrible job. Oh, apparently there's already a keeper on route. Well, it's a little late. Everything's sort of kind of dead. Okay, okay, I've got an idea for you guys, okay? This is what we like to call in the business a bridge. Oh, God damn it! I got rid of it. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so patient with me. It must be an absolute nightmare. There we go. So instead of the keeper having to go, what, all the way around? It sh they should be able... And I'll just quickly group this together. Yeah, there you go. Just so... Yeah. I love how it's floating in the water. There you go. Call the vet. Get rid of that. Get Hide the evidence. It's all these bleeding ostriches. <laughs> <gasps> Your size is small. It's the wild for you. Where are you going? Chelsea, Chelsea, I know you're very, your, your workload is high. I know, and you're very tired. What zookeepers are assigned? Monroe is assigned. Um, and he should be on his way shortly. Oh, look at the warthogs. Oh, wow, they're so, oh my God. 
look at the look at the way they move in sync. Oh my god. Why is everyone unhappy? I get the feeling we're about to get a crud ton of refunds. All these gosh darn protesters. Okay, I just saw I think I just saw a person all the way underneath the floor there. No, uh, you guys told me that the bisons, you know, they live in the Great Plains, they need huge amounts of space. Um and I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll expand it, but now I'm in minus 5,000 pound of death. <laughs> Lay down, become the food. If it was more obvious. You guys okay in here? You look like you're looking at that rock. Oh God, no, not where they sleep. Ah! <laughs> right in front of the yeah, Lulu's getting up. She's like, yeah, I'm not having any of that. <laughs> Do warthogs need multiple females per male? Let's have a look. Oh, they do. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I did not realize that at all. Oh, well, at least these guys are getting on. Look at that. So cute. There you go. There's me 50 grand loan. Um, we've still got to repay about 50 grand. And I think we are, even though we're in minus nine grand. So could be worse. Your job is to make money. Stop wasting it. And it started out so fun. I was having fun with this, but I can't place another one now because we got <laughs> this no money. Oh, that guy looks hungry. Oh, he needs a toilet. Oh, well, we have. Oh, God, really? <laughs> Spotted a protester. You, you know what? You wouldn't be hard pushed to find one, if I've got to be honest. There seems to be quite a few of them loitering around here. Let's have a look. Oh, he's using- Oh, even the ostrich is using me bridge. Oh, fantastic. I want to put uh, railings in, actually, but um, so I'll have to wait. We just need to wait till all of the people who are unhappy, who are, who are now going away, getting my refunds, uh, leave the park, and then new people come in. Um, because there won't be any protesters. There's a lot of vandalism here? Whoa. What do you mean that? Oh, uh, you mean just a trash? You know, I had an idea that uh, these guys would be using these bins and sitting down, having something to eat. Apparently not. And seeing as I can't actually buy anything, I may as well put the bins somewhere where they might actually get used. Like, look at all of this. Oh God, there's a bin there. I can't even replace. Oh, I can. Good. I can replace that bin. What's that? Oh no. Who's going around breaking me? You little buggers, you. Everything's been doubled over and broken. I need security. I need another one. Why are we still here? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Just to suffer. All right, let's have a look. Can you get in? And aha, I've moved the rocks and then what? <laughs> what? Why did you do that? Going to habitat. What habitat? Why that habitat? Species report on the pygmy hippo. There we go. There we go. She's coming in. She's running. I think she's going to be able to do it now. I think it was the rocks here for whatever reason. Oh my god. It was the rocks on the floor. Like, finally, somebody, <laughs> somebody feed me. I don't want any to die. Look at this. They're beautiful. Yeah, let's go pick up the poop. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I can't even move it. I can't even move it. You know what it is, guys? I'm gonna have to ask for another loan, <laughs> please. 20 grand. I'll take the loan, thank you. Ah, what's the worst that could happen, eh? If you keep losing money, we'll close you down. Call the habitat. Get going. There we go. That's much better. That looks quite nice now. Oh, just need to move that down. There we go. And you've got this little bit up here. Probably get rid of that. And then there's like a sheltered spot and we can move this because I think they definitely can get up here. Yeah, I'm almost sure, but what I'll do, because it looks nicer if I just flatten this area. And that way they can jump up there, jump up there. Um, what I'll do also is actually just duplicate this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry this is like stressful. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of people have said like, my God, this is so stressful. Seeing the beaver's money decrease and... Oh no, but yeah, it's all about like trying to work out what exactly. Oh, there we go. Staff facilities. That's good because I, what I want to do with money when I have it. Stop fooling around. Let's put some staff facilities at the background here so we can have people on location right here. Um, in fact, how much does it cost if we go staff facility? Just want a regular. We did learn something though from that research i think quarantine small i just want to staff keep a hut small keep a hut large 
I'm okay with a staff room looking like this and it, it does cost like two grand. <laughs> and now we have a staff building right there and hopefully, oh, she's coming in, she's coming in. Uh, I'm wondering if it's actually this. Oh, she's going somewhere. Where is she going? Richmond. And I, oh, oh, he's going for it. Well, it's moved over there now. And could you please feed this? Um, call you. Hello? Hello? Nobody gonna just... Why, though? Why is this not... Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. It's right here. You got this. Why do you not have this? Why do you not have this? Oh, at least those two are being cute. That's nice. Maybe these guys are actually okay. Maybe they're not filling them up because they're actually okay. Oh. We also have zero marketing going on right now. And this is some... I, I, like, all this stuff, I have no idea that you could do. So if you go into finances, marketing. Oh, there we go. We did a cereal box advert. Fantastic. Let's go again. <laughs> cereal boxes. That's how we advertise our zoo. Oh, we got multiple species in here now. Oh, whoa, whoa. We could have two information boards. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wait, there's no power for this staff facility. But the good news is because this staff facility is so far away. And there we go. Power. Oh, no, hold on. Oops. I also, because I, before I forget. So now there is a staff facility right here. So any keepers uh, don't have to, and caretakers and everybody else do not have to go all the way back to the entrance of the zoo in order to stay there. Um, also, oh, there's a little baby croc with the adult croc. <laughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. And then another staff there, a small keeper hut. Oh God, never mind, I'm in minuses, but it's it's on the up though, it's on the up. You must make more money. So if they need food for flamingos, for pygmy hippos, for the, the warthogs and everything, they can just come here and get that all sorted. Oh, we got more papas! Oh, he's so cute, oh my God, it's a two-headed one. Woohoo! Okay, okay, didn't realize that they would do that. Yes, donate. Oh my god, we're on 2,000 now! Yes! Oh, yes! I'm happy to see that you've made a profit! Oh no, hold on. So if you want to add stuff to- You probably know this by now. You've probably- You've probably watched other people do this. I don't need to tell you. And there we go! So, do we need anything else? We could even add an upstairs, actually. If we get, like, um, a bigger facility, like a veterinarian facility, we can just put it up there and then have a path come up. Uh, yeah, look at that. <gasps> oh no, we got a little, we got a little albino piggy. I didn't even see that. Yeah. <laughs> we got so many little albinos. Right, but the thing is we do need to now sell uh, one of these warthogs. Damn, I can't get you because you're hiding in the leaves. Gunning plan. Like I was asking, yeah, seven will do. You kidding me? 5,000. Oh no, oh no! Oh, oh, well that was quickly swi- Bam! She was on it, taking care of that so the guests don't see it. Oh, we got people going around with balloons! Oh no, never mind, they've just got blonde hair. Oh no, 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 I was right, there is a balloon! There is a balloon! He's taking it to the toilet. Okay, I was gonna say, there is balloons. <laughs> How did you escape? Were you all escaped? How did you do that? Yep, they, they just walked over. They just walked over. Oh, fantastic. Vet's already on the way, so that's good. All right, guys, montage mode. Let's make this beautiful. And there we go. Some kind of modern looking building. Um, I thought I'd go with the East Asian um, tiles because they look quite nice. I mean, remember being in Japan and on the way to Nara seeing all of these like intricate tiles on the roofs and I'm like, Jesus, how did they do that? <laughs> but, um, oh God, Woo! look at that. You can see a gap there. We're gonna have to fill that in eventually. But we've got some research there. We've got um, plenty of, and I need to put the signs actually so I know what they are. Uh, the only thing is the windows behind look kind of boring, so I want to put, um... Oh, look, you're- oh, you're having a lovely rest- oh, look at that! A blank TV! Fantastic! <laughs> I want to put some sign or something in, like, maybe a landscape so it doesn't look so boring. 
But uh, no, th that's a really good little facility. I had a little play around with the stairs, just because I didn't want something that was, you know, straightforward. Um, oh my god, we're on 10 grand! Yeah, oh my god, yes! I can finally relax. Oh, that's so nice. Um, now, we've already got one mechanic working on staff facilities. We need some separate vets. Now, what I want to do is go into the zoo, go into staff, and just see what vets we got on the go. So, two, three, one, uh, two, three, four, five. So, pretty much all of them are doing a good job, I would say. Um, so, I'm going to get... Oh, yes, the pink hair! We'll get one and two. Um, I'm just wondering if I can rename these guys, but if they're pretty low, Zachary and Quinton. Really, we're so close to getting the, uh, the flamingis maxed out on flamingi research. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Why is this? Oh, for whatever reason, it's, it's a little bit too high. Just... There you go. Beautiful. I want to add a chimney to it. I want to make it look gorgeous. <laughs> Looks so good. And if, um, can you just not move, move it to there? Go on, fly it. Whoppa! Beautiful. So many little tiny warthogs and everybody here, apart from space. Ah, sort of running out of space. Now, if I go into here, right, so then climb up there. They can go on here, then climb up there. Uh, we'll probably push that back just a little bit. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I say, they should be able to get up to here as well. I don't want them to fall off though. Maybe I'll put a railing there or something. So what's space looking like now? 50%. Okay, so it's went up a little bit. It's went up just a smidge. <laughs> it might be a case of me just having to move this whole, like grabbing all these rocks, pushing them back a little bit to the right and just making sure that, you know, there's more area for them to go on. Common ostrich. Of course, ostriches are always the bleeding problem. No, oh, look at the baby go. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Oh. Okay, any particular reason why you just drop- you're dropping the food on the floor? Inst is this another glitch? Can you guys not put food in the feeders? Is that it? Oh my god. Frontier man, get your game together. There are loads of uh, females. Uh, has she ha given birth? She has given birth. So, um, I'm gonna release her to the wild because we don't want any inbreeding. Um, low welfare because they're stressed. I, I don't know exactly why they get stressed. It's probably because of the amount of people that are up here. I've had social anxiety in the past. Oh my god, the crowds. <laughs> oh no! You died? Oh, died of old age. Oh. Okay, we'll call the vet. <laughs> we'll call the vet. And there you go. Much safer. Yeah. Although I think the whole thing needs to be picked up. Oh god, no, I picked up a rock there by accident. Didn't mean that. Just these. There we go. And then uh, get it to about the middle. We could do it a little bit higher, I suppose. Just the weird thing is, it has some weird struts on it that, uh, I wonder if you can, no, you, can you deselect these? I don't think you can, no, but I mean, yep, yeah, that'll do. That's quite nice. But I suppose if all you want to do is just dump the food on the floor, um, I, I guess that'll work too. Oh, he's got some rubbish. Oh, I thought he just dropped it on the floor there. And we got Sam Vertin, who is uh, walking around in the middle of nowhere. So seeing the best part of the park, the zoo. And we got uh, Tiger Ellie. Oh my God, yes. <gasps> we should have these incorporated like rocks. Like, into the mountainside. That would look so cool! Oh, I can't wait to do that. Oh, I'm so excited. Now that I've got 17 grand in the bank, guys. You know what, you know what it is. I'm just going... Oh, hello. Ooh. There we go. That's good. Springbok being researched. You know what it is? I'm just going to take out a $5,000 loan. Because I can. Hello, cutie. <gasps> Little tiny piggy poos. Oh, they're adorable. And space is still, actually, no, 36% for space for the Springbok. Yeah, they don't have much area to run around, do they? And there's a lot of different things going on here. We've got the private waterfall, little tip-top slopes to the top here. Probably, uh, get that terrain, flatten that area there, I would assume, you know. Move these rocks back a little bit. 
No, I'm happy with the way this is turning out. It's just a shame. There's so gosh darn many of them. I'm wondering if what we did was have some sort of connector between two exhibits. So if we had some mountain or rocks go across to this side and then they went into there. Oh, oh, we just got the idea for the next video. Oh my God, yes. <gasps> that would be so cool. Oh, also I forgot about this area. Yep, I forgot about this. We do actually have uh, <laughs> rest areas and stuff for the staff. <gasps> We're at 26 grand. Oh my God, I need a high security. I need high security. Who's destroying me benches? There's rubbish right next to the rubbish bin. What is this nonsense? Also, I've traded out the Komodo dragon again because the babies grew up. I'd love to see a family tree because I haven't really imported any. Um, oh my God, look how busy this is. That's crazy. Oh, I love it. I love the sound when you go down here and the speakers that I've got going. You go into here and... <gasps> I mean, you can't really hear it too well. And actually, the ostriches make it sound like Dilophosauruses, so that's also kind of scary. <laughs> is that all we have? We have a Japanese... Is it a Jap... No, yeah, that's Uma. I think that's a sign for Uma, so that means, like, horse. And this is Chinese. Could be Chinese. 4,000, 8,000, 6,000, 9... Why is nobody breeding these buffaloes? Yeah, that's quite nice, actually. I think what I'll do is I'll just have rocks going along all the way to the side of this wall and maybe make some sort of feature out of it. But I have been recording now for an hour and a half. Um, so, and we are now on 31,000. We're now on 31,000, guys. I think it's safe to say that we have saved this park from financial collapse. Oh wait, wh oh, whoa, 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 unbox all of them. There we go, release the piggies. <laughs> no, they're completely fine. I don't know how they're reading, but uh, Probably each other. Oh, they go for the waterfall. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't you face through the wall. Don't do it. Don't, you're going to do it. No. Ah, oh, God damn it. <laughs> I, I also hope that these flamingos aren't inbreeding. Get the feeling they might be inbreeding. Aha, there you go. Uh, level one, level two. We now know that Springbok are from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> or at least from an arid, is, it, is that an arid? Oh, you know, it'd be cool, even better to have wood around this to really just frame it. A bit like we did with the flamingos, because the flamingos is just bright pink. Um, but I will end this here. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Start out stressful, but we got our money back and now we've got so much money that um, we should be okay. Um, I kind of want to do logs running around the outside. Maybe when we get up to here. So they run around the outside here and run around the outside here. We've got a two tits free one tapped over the bin. God damn it. I oh, know, I'll just knock that. Oh, wait, you're doing the thing. Oh, he's replenishing the mud. Oh, that's good. That's good. But thank you so much for watching this series. I see loads of comments of people saying that, that they're glad that they're sticking with this one because it's so much fun. It, uh, it really means a lot. And I enjoy making it. If it sometimes is a tiny bit stressful, won't lie. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, thank you again so much for the support. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.